Already we are considering follow-ons for the RRV. For tooling, we are looking at vacuuming, core boring to remove a sample of concrete from the floor, and manipulation to aid in the cleanup. For sensing, our first priority is radiation detection, then obstacle avoidance and vehicle tip over. Operationally, we are considering the use of more than one RRV simultaneously. Uh, one mode would be a fully configured RRV that would supervise the activities of a drone which would carry tooling only. Another possibility is a miniature version of the RRV which would operate radio remote from the mothership. We've learned a great deal from our experiences with the first prototype and we look forward to the follow-on work. The Remote Reconnaissance Vehicle, RRV, is a rover specialized to the evolutionary needs of remote cleanup in radiated environments. The prototype is a rugged wheeled crawler which negotiates interior spaces. It provides lighting and video for navigation and inspection, has features of survivability, reliability, and decontaminability. The RRV is viewed as a shuttlecraft whose capabilities will expand as the needs for specialized missions becomes clear. The base vehicle is a rugged, sealed, six-wheel drive vehicle to which all other subsystems are ultimately attached. The vehicle is able to negotiate ambitious obstacles in a slow, controlled manner. Climbing ability is limited by the tire characteristics, as the base vehicle has tractive power and stability to spare. The drawbar pull exceeds half a ton if sufficient weight is configured on board the vehicle. The entire system is ruggedized for the working standard that user demands will impose. The first RRV mission will be reconnaissance in the basement of the TMI-2 reactor containment building for purposes of discovery and inspection. It is an interior maze where the concrete intended to shield radiation makes wireless communications unreliable. Piping, debris, and mechanical components are impediments to mobility and remain as partial unknowns. Tethering is mandated by the need to deliver significant power for extended periods and makes possible hardwired controls. However, the vulnerability of damaging a conventional tether by dragging is too great a risk. The RRV tether precludes self-damage with a flexible ribbonized cable which is efficiently stored aboard the vehicle on an innovative reel. Important onboard functions are thus able to be hardwired to the control console without the use of relays or dependence upon onboard electronics. A capstan drive enables the tether to be powered in or out as the occasion requires, so tether is never dragged, tangled, or overrun. The RRV base vehicle is sized and powered to optimize the trade-offs of obstacle negotiation and stability against the need to fit within spaces. Regardless of size, there will always be demands for precise, close-order maneuvers. RRV navigation is enabled mechanically by excellent controllability. The RRV's center axles are lower than its end axles to facilitate effortless spin about its own axis. Two operators control the RRV from the console located safely away from the hazardous environment. The console houses electronics and power supplies that enable most of these components to be eliminated from on board the vehicle. The pilot is responsible for navigation and driving. The co-pilot has the primary responsibility of managing the tether and protecting the tether from potential damage. Protection of the tether is deemed so crucial to the RRV survival that the co-pilot is provided an interlocking kill switch that can disable a tether-threatening pilot action. Pilot and co-pilot share common mission responsibilities such as visual and radiation monitoring. Since missions are not line of sight, controllable onboard cameras are necessary to provide video information to the RRV operators. Two cameras are parallel mounted such that a close-up strategic view of the wheels is possible during driving. It is also possible to view the vehicle envelope to assess clearances and to view the vehicle itself for orientation and for diagnosis. A third camera views the tether reel system. 
Modularity is important to the RRV maintenance, decontamination, and evolution. Subsystems like the base vehicle, tether reel, junction box, lifting cage, camera system, and console are all separable from one another. Mechanical and electrical interfaces have been simplified to facilitate component changeout for whatever reason. Decontamination, washdown, or component disposal can be accomplished with minimal exposure of humans to radiation.